Well, in February of 2018, it was a Starman in a red Tesla. Remember that? Then March 2019, it was Ripley in a Crew Dragon capsule. So there have been some very memorable mannequins in recent years, to say the least. And that's because they were part of the important space missions. They're so endearing, right? Yes. And soon there will be a new dummy. Smarty. No, yeah. I mean, he's in Call space. So. <laughs> it will be launched on the lunar launch happening later this year. Click Orlando.com's Brianna Voles is here to tell us about Moonikin, who now has a name, Brie. Moonikin? Yes, there is a name, and I know at least one of you will be a huge <laughs> fan of it. So earlier this month, NASA held a naming contest for the mannequin that will fly on an upcoming mission around the moon. Artemis 1 will be an uncrewed flight test of the Space Launch System and the Orion spacecraft, ahead of the first flight with a crew on Artemis 2. The bracket challenge started with eight names in the field before it dwindled down to the remaining two, Delos and Campos. And the winner is Campos. We were pulling for this one, obviously, and we know Candace approves of this name, right? Yes. Campos Hello. honors former NASA employee Arturo Campos, who played a huge role in bringing the crew of Apollo 13 back to Earth safely in 1970. Apollo 13 was en route to attempt the third moon landing when an oxygen tank exploded, cutting the journey short. Now that we have a name, let me tell you some more about this dummy, or smarty, I like that better. A mannequin spelled M-A-N-I-K-I-N. It's an anatomical model of the human body, which is often used in medical schools, as opposed to a mannequin spelled the familiar way and what you see on display in department stores. So as the name suggests, NASA is calling Campos a moonikin because it will fly around the moon. Campos will be equipped with two radiation sensors and a first-generation Orion Crew Survival System spacesuit. One of its jobs will be to provide data on what human astronauts might experience during the Artemis II lunar flyby in 2023. Now, the uncrewed Artemis I moon mission could launch before the end of this year and will pave the way to send the first woman and the first person of color to the lunar surface, which will likely happen sometime after 2024. We mentioned the space launch system earlier. That is how NASA is able to accomplish the task of launching the crew and heavy payloads. The SLS is still being assembled at Kennedy Space Center as we speak. So you can get the latest updates on its assembly and any launch updates at clickorlando.com slash space. And of course, you know we have a space newsletter. So go ahead and sign up for that at clickorlando.com slash newsletters.